Developing tonight, students and teachers are calling out McKinley High School principal Isram Pete after his first year of taking the job. Yeah, there are a number of allegations being made against him. NBC Local 33's Tisia Mazinga is live at the East Baton Rouge Parish School Board office to tell us more about what's happening there. Tisia? Hey guys, sorry about that. I lost you for a second. But yes, these allegations are very serious. We've got teachers and students out here saying that Dr. Petrie uses fear and intimidation to retaliate anytime they go against him. They say something against him. They they talk about what he does that's not right to them. They also have people here out saying that he it touches employees inappropriately. I actually have one of the reports right here saying, and I'm going to read it right here. It says, Dr. Petrie hugs staff and students without permission. He touches my lower back in an in inappropriate in way when he hugs me. And, and there's another report that says he has admitted to me, this is some person speaking out, saying that he likes to motivate others through fear and intimidation. All these people out here using the reports, talking about the reports, and asking the EBR school board and also the school in itself and himself, Dr. Petrie, to step down after a year becoming the principal. Administration at McKinley Senior High School. I understand what a difficult decision it can be for an employee to file a grievance, especially when you are faced with the threat of hostility from your supervisor. And in spite of that difficulty, multiple educators, teachers, and support workers have stepped forward throughout the year to inform the local of what they call a culture of unfairness and intimidation. It sounds like to save himself. Now, we also reached out to Dr. Petrie to make a comment. We didn't get to them, but the EBR school board did make an announcement. Uh, they released a statement saying that they are going to look into these allegations and their best interest is for the students and the teachers. We're going to have more on all of that coming up on Local 33 News at 6. That's it for me, you guys. Back to you. All right, Tizia. Look forward to hearing more about this story.